A security guard working on Lower Broadway is now credited with saving a crime victim's life. Andy Cordan got the first-hand account from that security guard in a story you're seeing first here on News 2. A man is severely bleeding here on Lower Broadway, and this security officer, armed with a tourniquet, may have saved his life. He seems to be bleeding out, and you jump into action? Yes, sir. This is the scene early morning, August 5th. What happened to your arm, bud? You got cut? He was stabbed. Yeah, that's what he's saying. These are pictures of a 52-year-old stabbing victim. No individual who has a severe laceration on his right arm. Being loaded into a waiting ambulance. Uh, he's bleeding heavily. According to Metro Police. He's kind of going in and out of consciousness. The victim will survive his injuries. You go see if you can find like a tourniquet or something to put around his arm, please. Thanks in large part because he happened upon this man. Was he bleeding badly? Um, it was enough that he was coming in and out of consciousness. And then when I applied the tourniquet, it helped his consciousness was a little bit more coherent. According to Cole Robinson, when the victim first approaches his location, the man's cut on his face and he's bleeding profusely from a severe knife wound to his right arm. Um, it was super deep lacerations above the wrist. Uh, his pinky was a little uh, filleted, and then the finger next to it was filleted as well. Filleted? That's not a word you hear often. No, sir. Robinson is trained how to use a tourniquet. Tighten it all the way down. He tells me this is the first time he'll ever do it for real. It's a pretty simple device. It is. Anybody can use it. You turn it a few times, lock it into place, then you time stamp it from what time that you apply the tourniquet on for. The so units are pulling up right now. Metro's the PD units are open. Right. According to security officers, the victim could not tell investigators where he was attacked or by whom. Do you feel like you might have saved the man's life? Possibly. Yeah, we are applying a tourniquet to his right arm. How's that make you feel, sir? Um, so it feels like another day working downtown. So it's training you hope you never use, but it's a good thing he knew how to use it. Andy Cordan, News 2. Now, the victim did survive, and so far no one has been arrested in this case.